For most middle schoolers, so their world yeah. revolves around their classroom. Hard to imagine that an earthquake of that magnitude would hit such a small island. But Sacred Heart students are finding geography right here. can sometimes be measured. It's so small. Not just the first earthquake, but an aftershock happens. By the size of their own hearts. I mean, even like small things can help, like collecting shoes, collecting water. Here we have pairs of kids' shoes. It was 12-year-old Raquel's idea. These are a pair of Converse. Fueled by the disturbing disaster images. It made me hurt too, even though I didn't experiment, experience the earthquake. It must be very difficult for them, walking without shoes. From students. We're doing it for them. To philanthropists. I think it's really helpful for the ki ch children in Haiti. They, they donated their well. own shoes. I think it's great, like how everyone's helping out. This is Mrs. Negri. Mrs. Negri has family in Haiti. Mrs. Negri is from Haiti. A so, church um, parishioner stops by. We have our family home, which no longer exists. Our church no longer exists. The church in which I was baptized, Sacred Heart, no longer exists which I made my first communion no longer exists. The school I attended no longer exists. Gina lost friends and relatives. In my native language, merci. Merci to all of you. I bet it's hard for them because they have no shoes on and they're stepping over rubble and everything. The heavy boxes will load up on the hand truck. So the next step? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over 2,000 shoes is just amazing. Thank you. And so begins their 2,000 mile journey. Um, it was kind of heavy. We're not too big and we're not too tough. But when we work together, we've got the right stuff. Thank you. It's most meaningful for Gina. <laughs> Saving souls. I will tell them. <laughs> With souls. I think that's the last one. It's like huge. You know, you have two or three little girls that were able to bring an entire community together is awe inspiring. In Baltimore County. High five. <laughs> Kathleen Cairns. Back to work. Go. Oh, oh, oh. Fox 45, News at 10.